afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. It's your man, Bosley Glad, bringing you live coverage today. We're doing AEW. It says Rampage, but we're calling it dark. Good afternoon. All right, then. So we know Eddie Guerrero is once again in the main event, of course, of AEW Dark. And we are kicking things off with an awesome, weird match between Isaiah Swift, Scott, and Dan Housen. I think we will. I think we will, guys. Thank you for the unbelievable support on my series so far. I'm absolutely buzzing for it, guys. Thank you so, so much. It's been a remarkable, remarkable time for us on Twitch here and on YouTube. Especially on YouTube at the wrestling side. You guys are loving that. But here we go, then. It's this main event. I've called it Rampage, but it is AEW Dark. Nine matches, ladies and gentlemen. The up-and-comers, the guys who never usually get onto the main shows are given a, well, the NXT Dynamite and Legends show, which, of course, you'll be seeing in a couple of days. This is the time when they get to shine. And by God, have they shined in recent weeks, guys. Just look at this. Some of the classics we've had over the last couple of weeks. I mean, we've had, we've had literally four four-star matches. King Corbin, Roddy Strong and a triple threat. Um, Cameron Grimes has been on the show. Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero. Some of the names are absolutely world, these guys. Now, Dolph Ziggler, of forever. course, getting the showcase. Together. Here we go. I've just literally spoken over the commentators as well. But right, guys, here we go. This is the next installment of WWE. It is AEW Dark. Nine matches, ladies and gentlemen. Here's what we've got. We've got Isaiah Swift, Scott, taking on Dan Housen in the open. A very intriguing matchup. Mm. we got Legado Del Fantasma, who had an amazing victory on NXT this past week taking on Mustache Mountain, the team that failed in taking the tag titles off Imperium at the NXT TakeOver. Uh, we've got Dolph Ziggler taking on Kyle O'Reilly. That's going to be a monumental match. Holy moly. Nia Jax looking to take on the legend, Mickey James. Cameron Grimes and Dexter Loomis. This may still have some bearing towards the North American Championship picture. Grimes did not pin Loomis, of course, on NXT. He pinned Camilla Hayes, so Dexter Loomis looking to get some form of one-on-one -on -one revenge. Davari, who looks like he's going to get eaten alive in this match by Wardlow, but Davari's won a bit of a streak himself. we got the King's Battle, the Battle of the Kings. King Corbin versus King Booker. We've got Roddy Strong in and up. Possibly a dream match against Adam Page. And we've got Eddie Guerrero 97 taking on the ever-confident, ever-cocky LA Knight. Match one. Here we go. Isaiah Swift Scott, the, well, the former... NXT North American champion in this series, of course. Um, he got beat by Cameron Grimes in a triple threat. His shoulders were pinned to the back, guys, of course. Um, so, Dan Housen... Um, oh, sorry, Swift Scott is, is now rep, is now known as Swift Strickland in AEW. In a bit of a odd couple team with Keith Lee at the moment. Uh, Keith Lee not kind of sure whether he's going face or heel. No one really knows. Swift is full-blown heel in this new promotion. Dan Housen! Not really much you can say about him other than... He's Dan Housen. Really, uh, I've not really got anything else to say, but we will see this match now, guys. For live and in color, opener AW Dark is A Swift Scott Dan Housen. Match one next. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yes, welcome to Swerve's house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 201 pounds, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Lots of swagger, but also lots of discipline. Coming from a military family with time spent in the Army Reserves himself. A true student of the game even hosts his own wrestling podcast on the wwe network don't sound so excited michael don't give anyone a podcast you are never invited back and i'm gonna have your episode deleted saxton
and his opponent from out of this world. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Dan How Sam. This superstar always says there's nothing more important in the world than loyalty. Well, someone should tell him that this is WWE. Loyalty is the least valuable currency around here. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. And if you want high-flying trouble, look no further than this man, Isaiah Swerve Scott. He's one of the most gifted, agile, and unpredictable competitors on the roster. Yeah, and before Scott arrived at WWE, he tore up the indie scene and made a name for himself as a top talent. I assure you, he's out to replicate that success here against the best superstars in the world. Oh my lord, what is he? Cover! Shoulders are down! Kicks out at just one. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Oh, man! And Isaiah gets kept grounded with that hit. From the top, double stop! The pin attempt. Two count. And he kicks out at two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Snap man over. Both arms chicken wing. And they roll through. Yes. Cattle mutilation locked in. What a unique submission maneuver here. And look at the pain. Is He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Back in under the ropes. Getting back into the ring. Oh, that might have just broken something. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Two. No one kick out of two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Snap over. Both arms chicken wing. And they roll through. Yes. Cattle mutilation. 
position locked in. It's not embarrassing to tap out. He'll save your career. But his will to win. Oh, and he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. And this junk you have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace. They're certainly being taken into the deep waters now. change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. Roundhouse kick. I swear I've got Snap it over. Both arms chicken wing. Can they roll through? Yes. Cattle mutilation locked in. After everything these two men have been through, will it end like this? Will it end with a submission tap out? His body might give and watch this. Letting him free. He's going for the pin. This could be it. One, two, three. No, no, no. The shoulders were not down. The referee was right on top of it. He's positioning himself. Closing in. And it's not going to be pretty. Going to slip. GTS. Night, night. Swirl is down. Shoulder up before three. That was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? Listen to this place. It's electric. Uh-oh. Effectively targeting the arm. And he barely evades. Unbelievable athleticism. Fighting really. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Just launched. Oh my lord, what is he? Oh, gross! Oh, oh, bear. Uh, snap bear. He's been kicked to the side of the face. Hit that just as hard as his opponent does. One, two, three. And it's safety match by a victory. He'll save her forever. What an insane opener. That match deserves another what look. What an absolutely insane opener match. Back and forth, back and forth. Swerve loses again. And of all things... Swerve lost to his own finisher. Dan Housen proving way too much for Isaiah Swerve Scott here. Well, I wouldn't say too much. Here is your it was just too intense. Amazing, amazing and way to open up the show, guys. Hard to argue Beautiful match. In the win Dan Housen especially one like that. picks up a victory against Isaiah Swerve Scott. Last week, of course, Swerve lost out to in fact, no, he actually, no, did he win no he, he lost actually last week to adam page four and a half star match to kick us off here on dark you know we bring the fire guys with the series unbelievable unbelievable match that four and a half star match to get started and now we've got two a pair of high flying teams coming up um the first of which of course is Legado del Fantasma, Joaquin Wild and Raul Mendoza, part of the trio, which also includes the former NXT North American champion in real life, Santos Escobar, and the Cruiserweight champion, of course. Taking on Mustache Mountain, a pair of British strong style wrestlers. Tyler Bate on the left, and Trent Seven on the right, guys. Tyler Bate, former NXT two-time NXT UK champion. Trent Seven, a fantastic technical wrestler in his own right. It is Legado del Fantasma versus Mustache Mountain, match two next.
Now here comes a very dangerous group. Three men who have brought their own style of Lucha Libre to NXT and look to redefine what Lucha Libre tradition is all about. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Accompanied by Santos Escobar at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. Legado del Fantasma. You know, as a group, they've been dominant in both the tag team and singles ranks in NXT. Yeah, these three superstars are not about entertaining the fans with high-flying moves. They're all about winning and making money every step of the way. Such discipline, a bright future for this team and all of its members. Without a doubt. Welcome to Mustache Mountain. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 391 pounds, Tyler Bates and Trick Seven, Mustache Mountain. Despite facial hair, they're very tough competitors. You know, they utilize British strong style wrestling, mixing Japanese strikes and British grappling. Mustache Mountain is a joy to watch. Very unique offense, extremely difficult to prepare for. I wish I could grow a mustache. I think you should focus on the top of your skull first, Saxton. You know, some people would say, no, I won't, but some people would say that they may be the best tag team out of the UK since the British Bulldogs. These guys hail from Mustache Mountain. Does that make you from Peach Fuzz Peak, Saxton? That's not funny. It's going to be Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. Then across from them, we see Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. And communication for these teams is going to be key in this one. A complete focus on teamwork is the only way to win. Oh, Here's a setup. Great power, masterfully executed Regal Flex. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. That holds back Bates' attack. Oh, just floating through the air. Two. Three. Setting it up. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Uh-oh. Oh, well scouted by Wilds. Oh, what a kick. Perfect moonsault. Double stop. Shifts it back onto him. Tagging his partner in now. With the reversal. Stop it. Out. There's a tag. to the back. Oh, right in there. Set 
Oh, but effective leg drop. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. And will this be it? And he gets the shoulder up before two. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Piercing strike. Bad predicament right here. Impressive display of power. Standing shooting. In. And just like that, he sent crashing to the floor. From the top, off landing. He's tagging out. Kick right to the back of the leg. He's looking a little off balance. Some serious damage. Uh oh. Destructive arm breaker. Close to ending it all there. Oh, man. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? He thinks he has it. Fights the shoulder up and won. Wow. I don't think any of these superstars are going to show any quit at this point. Never say die attitude on full display.
Watch out. Running, swinging, neck breaker. Delivering the suplex. Tagged into the action. Dropkick. I can see up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Getting tossed. Guys, every time Legado del Fantasma come into a match, they look even more impressive, but this time they met the their match. Charts. And they overcame it. A match against Mustache Mountain, a potential, like I said, this is the future of this series, in my opinion. Well worked, match there by Legado winners. del Fantasma, just Raul a little too much, and they've got a little too much momentum. Brilliant stuff, guys. Brilliant stuff. Dividends with an impressive tag team win. Really enjoyed tag this. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And it's I wonderful. hope we see these guys tagging again real soon. So here we go, guys. That was a four and a half star matchup. Tell me two seconds. Left. So four and a half star matchup there. And who is this? That is Biohazard Mikey. Hey! Welcome in, brother! Thank you so much for the raid. The joke is you... Bro, that, that is epic. Cheers, Father. Thank you so much. God. How'd you find my channel, bro? Oh, you fellow wrestling streamer. Oh, we do. Um, now, next matchup. we got Dolph Ziggler. Oh, no, he's been a bit of a run himself, guys. Um, a hell of a superstar in this particular um, series. It's Kyle O'Reilly currently on board. Hey, new follow. Thank you very much. Uh, Wamjam 97 thanking you so much. Much love. Welcome into the channel. Hope you enjoy what you see. 
Um, basically, I'll give you a bit of a summary. Kyle O'Reilly's up next, by the way. He's on a rival with Roderick Strong. Uh, let's have a look at what it says here. You follow me one time. So, so you want to send it over? Well, do you know what, bro? I like that. I like them odds. I like them odds. I do. By the way, for some reason, it said I didn't follow you, Mikey. I've just given you your five to follow, mate. Much love. All the best. Right. Um, yeah, the way I do it, I do pre-match and post-match reviews on it, mainly because I did like an eight-hour episode one day, and I lost my voice. So Dolph Ziggler 09, Kyle O'Reilly, match three, up next. A cocky young rookie who backs it up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida. Weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. I don't know what to make of this guy. He's been walking around backstage for weeks, introducing himself and shaking everybody's hand. I've met him like four times now. Oh, Corey, it just means he has good manners. Now, the problem with all this, Corey, is you met him in like this alternative universe because in 2009, you weren't actually even in the WWE locker room. That's true. That's accurate. This all took place in my imagination. He hasn't been in the WWE for a year, but he's already still on the show every week. Give credit where credit's due. Dolph Ziggler has a very bright future in WWE. And his opponent from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds, Kyle O'Reilly. We understand he works best in that Wolfpack mentality, of course, but a very accomplished singles competitor well, as you will see here tonight. Who's got time for rules when you're getting results? Amazing grappling and striking skills, supremely competent. O'Reilly's already backed it up and continues to do so. The brighter the lights, the harder the strikes for Kyle O'Reilly. Ziggler yet again has another opportunity to silence doubters and steal the show. Well, Dolph has every right to carry that confidence, and I'm sure he's looking forward to shutting up his critics tonight. Looking for an early pin, and a good strong kick out there. Still too fresh to stay down. Ouch. Oh, running knee lift. Kyle O'Reilly is so proficient in so many different styles of offense, he can work just about any match you throw his way. So how does his opponent take advantage here? O'Reilly's definitely the type of competitor to take a lick in and keep on ticking. So you need to stay on it. It'll be a grind, but you got to keep him down and out. Close that distance with ground and pound. Don't let Kyle get the space to unleash his strikes. Awesome driver. O'Reilly gets fended off. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Vicious right forearm. Swinging neck breaker. Lands the elbow. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, no, my God. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Everything working against Kyle O'Reilly now. He has done everything in his power to keep O'Reilly down and out here. And that's going to bring a big boost to Dolph's ego. 
Ziggler just putting a cork in his critics. Quickly, the cover. One, two. He narrowly avoids the count. Very close. The T clearly set again. Return fire from O'Reilly. Finally, O'Reilly's able to interrupt these attacks. For a moment. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Looking for a high-risk move. Super kick. Can O'Reilly come back from that? Try to end it. One, two. Oh, and he got him. Oh, he got it too. Down to the wire. Who's going to give in first? And that failed to hit the mark. Oh, stomping away. Great job refocusing the reverse that. Nowhere to go, being victimized by the, the Muay Thai training really showing off here. Nasty kick to the face. Oh, look at mounting another. Oh, punches hammering away. Ruthless. Striking at will. Oh, he the hands. That's gonna hurt. Kyle gets reversed. Leaving no breathing room here. Dolph's having trouble assessing the situation. It's been a hard-hitting affair here tonight. These competitors are going to have trouble walking on their own after this one. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. What a counter. Finally, O'Reilly's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. That might be what gets O'Reilly out of jeopardy. Precision strike to the back of the neck. He's starting to struggle here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. And it's off with a DDT! Kyle looks like a sitting duck right now. Watch out for Dunn! Guys, that was a pretty decent match, not the best we've had so far, now with one highlight spot of Dolph Ziggler kicking their head off the Kyle O'Reilly off the top rope. That was fucking unbelievable. Obviously off mic, I was just literally bouncing around the fucking room watching that shit. Look at this. Boom! Fuck my life. At least this game actually catches the fucking highlights right now. But what a super match that I... That was a real technical, but Kyle O'Reilly... Never really even got out of the blocks, which was surprising with what we've seen, especially in the Here matches I'm with um, uh, with Roddy Strong. Sorry, back at the club. I'm very surprised he didn't get out of the blocks there. Obviously, Wesley beating the classic on, on Tuesday, but Ziggler on another level, clearly. Looking to move up his own divisions, of course, in his own show, Attitude, which is coming up later tonight. Oh, no, it's not. It's coming up tomorrow, sorry. Back at the club. Smackdown is coming up later tonight. So three and a half star matchup did what it said in the tin really. I wouldn't say it was better than the opener or the second match, but obviously each match has its own quirks. Right then, the ladies take centre stage again. It is Nia Jax, the immovable object, and because she's teaming with Shayna Baszler, she does that stupid entrance. <laughs> I'll be fair, the prancing. Oh, I'm all feminine entrance. It's like no, that's not what Matt Nia Jax does. By the way, guys, cheers for the followers as well. Super proud of you. Um, right, here we go. Mickey James, of course, the first woman to hold an uh, Impact or TNA belt when come back to the WWE, even though it was proven it was by accident. A seven-time women's champion in her own right. The immovable object, Nia Jax, stick on Mickey James. Match four next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making her way to the ring, accompanied by Shayna Baszler from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. Gentlemen, I think this one's gonna turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. She knows she deserves to be atop this division, and a win tonight will go a long way towards that. Mickey James! From Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James! A six-time champion. Well, great in-ring IQ, exceptional grappling skills for Mickey James. Owns one of the most devastating strikes in the women's division, the mid kick. Might have one ready for her opponent here tonight. Hope she has one ready for you. Jackson in the ring, the powerhouse of the women's division. Nia absolutely loves to impose her will over her peers here in WWE. Cole, I think you mean she loves to impose her will over the competition here in WWE, and not just her will, Cole, her size, her strength, her power. That's true, and absolutely dominant competitor is Nia Jackson. Tonight promises to be no different for her. And with Mickey James, you have a seasoned veteran who is still just as good as she was when she first came to WWE. Possibly even better. That's right, Mickey James is absolute proof there's no need to chant, you've still got it, when she never lost it. And she plans to show that here tonight. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Running elbow drop right to the heart. And she saw that coming from Jax. She manages to get control. Uh-oh, this is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the... And the veteran Mickey perhaps struggling to keep up there. Yeah, Nia making clear she has absolutely no problem using her power game to her advantage. Mickey James able to reverse that. Oh, God! Attack from behind. Textbook neckbreaker. Nia Jax so powerful, but one could easily argue that what she has in power and strength, she lacks in speed and agility. Would you agree, Cole? I would, Cole, and I would even soaring. Splash! Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Elbow smash. Drop kick hits the mark. Jax with great wherewithal. Scoop slam! Oh, content and just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker! Mickey James with a mid kick. Mickey James showing everyone exactly how it's done there. Seeing a lot of heart from Nia Jax here tonight. A big opportunity falling through their fingers. You've got to continue fighting and hope your next big move is the last one. 
Nussel all the way up and... Will that keep Mickey down? Two! Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder out. is astonished that she didn't close it out with that one. Slam it into the mat. Oh, so hazardous to your health, too. Stomping down. Well-placed kick. Turn Nia Jax around there. Good God, that's devastating. Just mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Up high! Nobody David, bro. Welcome back into the channel. We've already had a raid of six this afternoon. These Amazing women put stuff there. Show. Here's another look. My buyer has a Mikey top dollar, brother. Nia Jax looked for all the world that she was going to kick Mickey's ass. But no. Here Mickey is persevered. Mickey James. And Nia she Jax. This win. Show up, get the W, gets and the get victory out. against Not a bad Mickey James. Work, I'd say. It's three and a half star matchup there. Fantastic, that. Better than the previous match. I'd say Mickey for her perseverance. Just for anything, probably won over the eyes of the crowd. But no, as far as I'm aware, Wacky, no debuts. I'll hit you up when I do. I didn't realize Miro was making his AEW debut. I'm actually seen a couple of times over. Uh, Loomis has not actually managed to get a victory over Cameron Grimes yet. Cameron Grimes is the current North American champion in this series. Saw him come up victorious in a fatal four-way, of course, which also included Loomis, Alexander Wolf, and Carmelo Hayes on NXT this past Tuesday. But now we are on to AEW Dark. Totally a different episode, totally different thing. It does the attitude, guys, on the... Um, or Rampage, sorry, on the title list because I haven't changed it officially on the playlist. It is Cameron Grimes, Dexter Loomis, match five next. So much money, it ain't even funny. Here comes the richest man in NXT history. Saxton, maybe you should ask Grimes for a little loan. You can update that suit game. You know what? That's not a bad idea. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Burlington, North Carolina. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The NXT North American Champion. Cameron Grimes! 
So you could say Cameron Grimes is similar to the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, but even classier. Cameron Grimes, a stock market savant, somehow made money buying coins for dogs. That's not exactly how that works, Saxton. I'll explain later, but Cameron Grimes about to make even more money tonight when he captures the winner's purse of this match. A strange, unsettling feeling has just come over this building. Loomis strikes me as the type of dude you'd hang out with, Saxton. And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis! Almost reptilian in his movements. Yeah, inhuman, cold-blooded. I don't think I want to know what's going on behind those eyes. It is impossible to presume the intentions of this human being. Mind games personified, made sentient. He wants to do an interview with Byron after the match. Oh, no, no, no thanks. Come on, jump in there, Dr. Phil. The mysterious, eccentric Dexter Loomis here tonight, clearly focused intensely on his opposition. Mysterious, eccentric, really cool. Disconcerting, unsettling, creepy. All those words better describe Dexter Loomis. Or how about this one? Psychopath. The man's kidnapped people. He literally stalks his opponents. And look at Saxton. He's shaking in his seat. Some would argue that all of that is just the mind games of Loomis, as devastating mentally as he is physically in the ring, truly punishing a competitor in every sense. Don't go underestimating his opponent, though. Cameron Grimes is something of an old-fashioned brawler whose grit and volatility make him difficult to handle. He's like a keg of gunpowder that's just waiting to blow up in the ring. You said it, Saxton. Cameron Grimes has explosive power and knows how to use it without any mercy. I'm sure Grimes is dead set on inflicting a lot of damage tonight. And Grimes capitalizes there. What does Cameron Grimes need to do to clear a path to the win here tonight, Corey? Well, Grimes needs to lean into his opportunistic tendencies and play a little dirty. Grimes' willingness to do whatever it takes, even if it tests the limits of the rules, could be the key to victory tonight. Oh, foot just stomping down. This match grinded him down a little. Just stomping every single part of his body. Knee strike to the face. Loomis fends that off. Arm drag, nicely done. He reverses it. What a shot. That'll fillet your chest. From behind. Back suplex. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Are you kidding me? He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. That gets reversed on Grimes. Two. Countered it just in time. Three. Under the ropes and back into the ring. Gets him with the counter. Ooh. Loomis keeps him at bay. And Loomis 
just able to reverse that. The colossal clutch. Campbell clutches in. Look at the torque. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. Slip right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hold. Pulls the ripcord, knee strike to the face. He's absorbing some tough hits. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. A uh, body is not meant to bend that way. For the love. Look at the torque in this submission. Oh, great escape, though. Oh, my goodness. Swinging side. He may get the three count right here. Shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Oh, what a shot. He's one step ahead. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Will it be? One, two. Oh, barely kicks out. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Decision there, Michael. Raw power kick could be lights up. Lewis gets intercepted. Grimes is focused on finishing this. Some of the more memorable the match parts that the match. was, guys. By the way, forgive me, voice is going again. Unbelievable stuff. Reversal after reversal. I think there was only about four finishes in the entire match. It was about 45 attempted. Back and forth, back and forth. Dexter Loomis, possibly with the biggest victory of this series so far for him. A very, very good performance. Very, very polished. Here he went to the submission. Cut above his head. Very you can't say they okay. didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Yeah, uh, but that is a four, th another three and a half star matchup. Very, very nice matchup there. Dexter Loomis picking up the victory. Match card six, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this one could very well be... Holy moly. Um, Davari coming through. I've, I've had a few, a bit of a resurgence in the series recently. Um, just literally in the previous episode of NXT. He managed to beat Ilya Dragunov in a straight-up fight that beat the crap out of him after the match. However, if after this last match that Wardlow had in a triple threat against Moxley and our hangman Adam Page, coming out victorious, the former AWTNT champion is on an absolute warpath. It's the War Machine Wardlow taking on Arya Davari, the Persian Lion, match six next. Look who's here, the Persian Lion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 190 pounds, Aria Tavari! Feels disrespected by a new class of cruiserweights. 
Well, Davari now with a chance to display his veteran cruiserweight experience. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 291 pounds, Warlord. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction, perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. A man who elevates his game every week. He is competing at his highest level yet. Arian Davari is a man with no shortage of two things, wealth and confidence. But you have to respect that Davari puts his money where his mouth is. I like a man who never hesitates to bet on himself. And now Davari is ready to stun the world with his abilities and win himself all the glory he thinks he so richly deserves. But he'll be faced. Taking flight. Nobody hurt on that. Producing a trampoline. That kick will stop you in your tracks. From the top, diving double axe handle. Uh oh, oh look at this locked in. Submission move here. Oh no, this is not where he wants to be. How do you counter the camel clutch? He's prying their hands apart. Estimation, what is the biggest advantage Arya Davari has coming into this match? It's got to be Davari's intelligence. He's a savvy veteran of over 15 years who knows every trick in the book and makes calculated attacks on his opponents. That could give him a big leg up here. <laughs> Referee in position. Two. He gets his shoulder up before three. He actually got pretty far there for such an early pin. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Down on the wing pipe. Davari out of harm's way. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> the damage he's taken is starting to pile up. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Stomp in the leg. Getting tossed. 
Uh-oh. Elbow drop. That fight has been taken to Davari. Absolutely. Davari keeps getting cut down at every opportunity. Beautiful suplex. Uh, this is just establishing dominance. Establishing control. Well, guys, that was a more competitive match than what I thought. Grant, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a lovely afternoon, matey. We've Wardlow got some time to take another look gets at some the expected of the win, one. but it was a bit more tricky than what he thought. Devine got a lot more offense in than what I thought he'd get in. But all in all, it proved fruitless. The war machine advances onwards in his endless path of destruction, clearly. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Here is your winner, Wardlow. It was never in doubt, but Devari did put up a bit here. of a fight. You can tell this yeah, Grant, I'm pretty good, buddy. It's my second stream of the day. The third one coming up down tonight. The so be sure, everyone, to be sure. If you are obviously able to tune in, definitely, definitely do so. Uh, but this is still got a few matches left here. Wardlow, a fantastic victory, it was, in fairness. Um, he fought on three and a half star match. Pretty much a lot of these matches are three and a half stars. Very competitive. No real superstar five star matches yet, but we'll wait and see. We've got a couple of corkers coming up at the end, guys, anyway. But here we go. This is going to be match card seven. It is the Battle of the Kings. Oh, boy. This is one This is one for fantasy booking. When's your next foot manager stream? That'll be Thursday, bro. Me and Bish doing that Thursday. Uh, I may be starting a solo um, foot manager career next week in the day if I'm not doing this. But King Corbin, of course, his namesake, Happy Corbin, actually was the undisputed, was the, not the undisputed, the um, universal champion in this series. One money in the bank and then beat Roman Reigns. King Booker, of course, it took him to get this persona to become the WWE champion. The SmackDown Heavyweight Champion, of course. And we've got here, guys, match seven, the Battle of the Kings. Corbin versus Booker, match seven next. WWE's resident royalty. Hail to the king. The following baby. contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. King Corbin. Corbin looks ready to dispatch any threat to his crown. Corbin always ready to use questionable tactics to gain success. It's not so despicable if you understand how to respect such a majestic and valiant ruler. And now Corbin is here to claim his most regal victory to date. Seriously, though, one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Famer, the legendary Booker T. You know, people talk all the time about his sixth time as champion, but what about his tag team prowess, Corey? Ten tag team titles in WCW, 20 total championships there. 
absolutely incredible. The resume speaks for itself. King Corbin seething with anger because he's not recognized as the one true king in WWE history. Names like Lawler, Race, Savage, Hart, and Booker T send Corbin into a rage. As it should, Cole, King Corbin is royalty and must be addressed with a perched up top. A diving knee drop. Connecting with a sharp elbow. And here's a cover. He's able to kick out before two. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Booker cuts him off. Oh, look at this. Dick Breaker after the float over. That was Brady. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Yeah. We see the look in Baron Corbin's eyes based on how well you know Corbin. What can we expect to see from him in this battle, Corey? Well, since I'm one of Corbin's closest confidants, I'll let you know that he plans to ravage his opponent with an offensive siege they've never seen before. Surgically precise strikes and awe-inspiring power. Now, I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top, are you kidding me? Well, he wasn't oh. expecting this. Uh, I can't believe this. I can't believe the nerve he's got interrupting this matchup. You shouldn't be surprised, Saxton. This superstar only cares about one person. Oh, look out. Watch out, watch out! Turning the tables. Unpacks a well-placed punch. <laughs> Gotta find a way to get out of this. <laughs> Face first! Oh, kick right in the back. Taking it outside the ring now. that propelled him to the throne. For the win! One, two, fights at it, two! A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. One punch! That's mounted with punches! And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. away from being beaten. Thanks for coming. Incredible. Taken down with his own move. Amazing. This man can withstand anything.
nothing. Just survived the page. Torn. Kick to the midsection. Booker T. Axe kick. Can you dig it, Saxton? Booker T has this wrapped up. Two. Two. For a single second that I believe Corbin was going to stay down. Baron has way too much resolve. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Looking to apply pressure. He's got it locked in. It's locked in. Now will be a wise time to submit. And he may have felt his grip slipping. So he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage though. Wheels are turning in Booker's head. Ah, oh, reversal catches Booker T. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. And you know this is only going to make Corbin angrier now. He wanted to end things right there. Does he have him here? One, two, three. King Booker has done it. Nice dumb match on everything. What the hell is Brian Kendrick doing coming out to interfere? Let's take another but look at what made that match up so it. memorable. Nice to get to on the outside. Deep six by King Booker. King Booker. King Booker grabbed the win, guys, with the spine buster. Here is buster. your winner, King Booker. An impressive win for this superstar. I wish you guys could hear the entrance sure. music, man. Seriously, I need to fucking fix that. But Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. Hey, the spinner on A. <laughs> the German. I could do that. I might watch the German matches. That would be pretty cool. But to be fair, I can't, I, I don't know, like, I played GMO, but it just got a bit stale. King Booker picks up the victory against, and they've got a rivalry, okay. Rivalry of kings. I used to love him. Like, Booker T's always been one of my favorites, even when I used to watch WCW. So, guys, co-main event, and you thought earlier, the earlier matches were good. We've managed to get a little bit of an indie darling match here. It's Roderick Strong. The current NXT Cruiserweight Champion in this series. Remember, if he loses that, he moves up to the NXT North American Championship. That's how it works. If a champion loses their championship, they move up to the next division or next show, depending, obviously, what show they're on. AEW and the next show you'll see on Monday night, which is, of course, the Attitude Show with all the legends on. They move up to NXT, as do AEW Dynamite, and then NXT gets a uh, flip of a coin to go to Raw or SmackDown, and then they obviously start from the bottom up there. But this match, guys, Roderick Strong, Hangman Adam Page... Let's get some hype for the co-main event, guys, up next. The Messiah of the Backbreaker, ready to prove his worth on his own. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT Cruiserweight Champion, Roderick Strong. A man who was once seen as honorable, once seen as respected. Who are you to decide what's honorable, Saxton? Roddy's the man. Roderick Strong, success has gone through the roof. Well, I uh, guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. And his opponent from Arlington, Virginia, weighing in at 235 pounds, Adam Page. Tensions riding high. Plans on getting things settled in the ring. I can't wait.
Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the downers, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. And then you have Roderick Strong, a superstar who is a true hard worker and has developed a wealth of in-ring knowledge. There's no cutting corners when you're squaring up with a competitor. Off into the pin. Strong kick out there. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Climbing up top. He's got big balls. Uh-oh. Way too much. Oh, diving moonsault. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. He's still in this. My, oh, my. What elevation. Just putting their body in danger time and time again. When you look at this matchup, Corey, what is it going to take for Roderick Strong to walk away with the win? Strong needs to go deep into his playbook. He needs to pull out all the stops and maybe employ some of his most hard-hitting and innovative offense. Right across the face. Oh, the elbow connects. Straight impact on the throat. Left by the turnbuckles. Had Roderick scouted. Across the shoulders, up and gut check. What an attack from the Messiah of the Backbreaker. Roger Strong. Oh, good night. Strong got him. Cover. One, two, and a kick out. No one saw that coming. Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. Roddy getting annoyed here, expecting to have his hand raised, but that kick out surprised him. Able to parry that one. <laughs> what a forearm. Does he get him here? A defiant kick out after one. Not quite enough to put him away. Climbing up to the top now. From the top. Yeah. Oh, Are you kidding me? Yeah. All the way up. Oh, no. Good night. Oh, Dude Buster. That's it. Strong is out. He kicks out somehow. What a kick out. We're seeing Roderick Strong take his game to a new level tonight. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. He's stuck in his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Taking flight. Crossbody. Roderick Strong looking a bit weak here. Roddy's cage might be a bit rattled. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Strong turns that around. Strong managing to find some much-needed breathing room. If Strong was looking for an opportunity to reverse his fortunes, that could be it. Can there be fun? This could be it! The end of heartache! And Strong got all of it. Cover! One, two, kicks out, just kicked out! Just an incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Uh, you would think he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. Roderick Strong taking a moment, wondering what else he needs to do to put this one away. What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, count along if you want. The 10 beats of the bottom. Shot after shot after shot. Endless blows. And count outs are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Assailing the joints of the leg. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, jeez. He has just completely lost his wind. 
There is no way this can go on for much longer. I think Roderick still has the heart to fight through this. I've got my doubts. Strong getting worked on right now. Yeah, and Strong is having trouble gaining the advantage. Hurled away. God. Five. Climbs back into the ring. Incredible to think, after everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. This could be it! Oh, good night! One more time, throwing the heavy artillery. The Two! Oh, and an air fall! He refuses to stay down! Pure instinct. Roddy getting annoyed here, expecting to have his hand raised, but that kick out surprised him. Teeing off! This arena has come unglued. You can feel the foundation shifting with every turn in the match. Into the corner. This can't be good. Things went from bad to worse. Is this what it's going to take to end this match? Going all the way to the top. High risk. A massive fall. This could be it. Cover for the win. One, two, three. Yes, able to survive and pull through. Things me and my five-year-old daughter are watching this hype through our shitting heads. What an unbelievable match that was. Let's take another look at these guys. Fucking in incredible. And reminiscing about uni in the chat, Waggy. Love it, man. And reminiscing about F1 in the chat. Fuck you, bitch. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, what an incredible match, guys. That could have gone anyway. Adam Page choked up punishment like Adam a sponge. Page. Absolute. Yeah, match of the street. Is it match of the day, though? Practically an inhuman I don't know. effort in terms of that resilience was just on display throughout this match. Unbelievable. You really have to I'll be honest with you. I thought Wyber and Mark Henry was pretty good, but that was just pure. Four and a half star match, guys. How is that not a five star match? It's the same with the um was it the Juice and Thunder Liger match earlier? Like, how is that not a five star anyway? No, actually, no, that Juice of Thunder Liger match was fucking remarkable, actually. But, guys, the main event, and this is a clash of eras. It is Eddie Guerrero 97, of course, the WCW careless version of Eddie Guerrero. Uh, England, yeah, we were fucking shit yesterday. Uh, Eddie Guerrero versus LA Knight, star of the past. RIP Eddie, one of the best ever. Take it on LA Knight, star of the future. Main event of Dark, next. Right, we are in for a treat tonight. The cocky young cruiserweight. Former ECW star who has had unmatched success in WCW. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Eddie Cole. The former WCW Cruiserweight and United States Champion, a man who has held the ECW television title. And above all, Eddie Guerrero doesn't care if he's liked. Right, he's not it. sure if he ever will care. Eddie Guerrero always sporting that cocky look on his face, but to Guerrero's credit, he always backs it up inside the ring. He may be a cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 240 pounds, LA Knight. Think about what LA Knight has accomplished so far. He actually won the million dollar championship in NXT and earned the stamp of approval of WWE Hall of Famer Ted DiBiase. 
Man, guess which one of those things L.A. Knight got rid of. The man doesn't need anyone's approval, millionaire or not. The smash mouth style of L.A. Knight should be on full display here tonight. Oh, yeah. L.A. Knight calls himself the last of a dying breed, and I have no doubt he's going to show all these dummies in the crowd why that is. It's definitely not a pretty style, but it's effective. And he'll be dealing with the fiery high flyer, Eddie Guerrero. This superstar has a lot of potential if he can just remain composed and keep his emotions in check. I completely disagree, Saxton. It's Guerrero's emotions that set him apart from the pack. Eddie knows exactly how to weaponize his anger into offense. Ooh, well measured. Eddie with a reversal. Kick right to the body. Catches the kick. Where I don't know that there's a cockier superstar in all of WWE than LA Knight. First of all, it's called confidence, Cole. But I will admit, it could possibly be used against LA Knight here. Because this match may just come down to who's more focused. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Knight caught by surprise. Foot to the gut. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, able to counter. Being carried around with ease. Driven down face first. Bruising attack to the stomach. He turns it around. Can they go on the attack? Slam down. He had it scouted. The pinpoint kick to the back. Face crusher. Ooh, and a reversal. Just reeling from that offense. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Lifted way high to the heavens. Driven down, powerball. Two. Kick out close to three. That was a long two count there. Climbing up top. He's got big four. We're not high. Knight was ready for that. L.A. Knight kicked to the cut. D.F.T. Eddie's chances are fading. Two. two. Oh, a kick out. Kick out at two. Incredible kick out from Guerrero. Eddie clinging on to life in this match. It is a thrill that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most matches. Oh, kick connects. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. Now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. He needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. This is it. How in the world did he kick out there? Every kick out taking so much energy to muster. And he perching himself on the top rope. Section. 
Christian to be thinking about the gory special. Yes, just getting all twisted up. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be the end. There's no way he survives this. No way. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. No, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Climbing to the top rope. Look at the high splash. And again, Knight gets caught by the opposition. Eddie Guerrero gets the win. Guys, what a fitting end to possibly the best wrestling show we've done. Not the highest rated matches. This superstar picks up a huge LA Knight was a, put a very, very credible Much performance deserved, there. Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, wonderful show, wonderful match, wonderful spectacle. And, embarrassed. and to be fair, he he was we've got a few stinkers match. on this channel well, in this I one in the series, but I'm absolutely flattered that this one's been brilliant. Uh, right, we're going to go straight in with the first raid we found. I don't even know what they're playing. We're going to just go in and say howdy. Um, Steely Streams. While we're doing that, guys, I'm just going to go and end this one. I think you're an X-Pack. I've a rifle. Why? I don't know. Maybe that one when he was called Six-Pack in, um, in WCW. Right then, guys. To review the show really quickly, match one, Dan Housen beat his ace with Scott in a fucking barnstormer. Um, Joaquin Wild um, and Ram Windows, a great tag match against Mustache Mountain. Fantastic win for them. Dolph Ziggler 09, great match with Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, Mickey James upsets Nia Jax. I thought that was a real big upset. Dexter Loomis, Cameron Grimes, very nice match. Wardlow pummeled Davari. Davari held on, got a bit of offense in. Uh, King Booker winning the match of the Kings. And that was against King Corbin, of course. Um, Adam Page, Roderick Strong, match of the stream with a stamp on it. And then that last one, of course, there. Very, very good performance by Eddie Guerrero beating LA Knight. Guys, we're going to go and raid uh, Steely Streams. Um, I don't know what they're playing. I believe we'll... Oh, dear, guys, we're going in with a hashtag glad raid, guys. That is a hashtag glad raid. And it's been an absolute fucking pleasure. I'll be back 9 p.m. this evening with SmackDown. Thank you very much for watching. All the best. Much love. And I'll see you on the other side.